Welcome to Tips and Tricks. Today we're going to force an external hard drive to mount on the desktop using the command line in the terminal of Mac OS X. So in this case, we've got a drive connected to our computer. As you can see, uh, it's a USB external hard drive, but it's not appearing on the desktop. Now I showed you in a previous video, and I'll link it below, how to look in the disk utility application in utilities to see if that drive appears and use the GUI to uh, mount it. But if that's not working, you can try using this process in the uh, command line. Now to get to the command line, you use the terminal application. And in the dock, I usually have the terminal here just so I can get to it easily. But if you don't have it there, you can get to it quickly by going into the finder and choosing File, New Finder Window, going into Applications, and at the bottom of Applications, double-clicking on Utilities, and inside there is the Terminal application. So I'll double-click that, and it will come up. So I'll just move it over here, open it up a little bit so we can see the commands. All right, so the first thing you need to do is get some information about all the drives connected to your system. So you'll type in disk util, that stands for disk utility, and then list. Now this will list all the hard drives hooked up to your system. So the first one here is at this location, dev disk zero. So that's a physical internal hard drive. So in this case, it's the Macintosh HD, and that's a startup drive for your computer. Now the volume, it gives it its name. So in this case, Macintosh HD is listed here under dev disk one. So here we're looking at the next disk, which is an external disk and a physical disk, and it's located at dev disk two. And I've just called it USB hard drive. That's just how I, was, I formatted it. Now to try to get it to mount, you would typically use this as a location to mount it. So we could try something like mount, and then I can just copy this actually, so we don't have to type it, and then paste it here. But that doesn't tend to work. So there's a couple more things that we need to do. Now the drives when they're mounted are always listed in a directory on your computer. So if we go here and go list, and it's listed in a, uh, in a vertical format with extra information. You go slash volumes, slash, which shows all the volumes that are actually mounted and available on the system. So in this case, we can see the Macintosh HD, but we don't see anything else for this USB one. So we need to make a little directory in here to allow the volume to mount. So in this case, you type sudo, mkdir and then slash volumes slash and then you can call this one anything you want I'm just going to call it USB just to make it easy that's going to ask me for my password so this is the password for my Mac so you have to know your administrator password for your Mac that password that you use to load your software or anything like that if you don't know that password I can't help you it's something you really have to know Okay, now if we do this command again to list the, volu uh, the volumes, then we can see now we have our Macintosh HD and a USB volume. And there's nothing actually in here, but now we can use this as a point to force the drive to mount to. Okay, so I've just cleared the terminal here so we can see the commands a little bit better. So now we have our device that's ready to be mounted. So we know we can use the mount command now and attach it to that folder or directory that we just created in volumes. So in this case, we will type in sudo mount, T is the type, and in this case, it's gonna be HFS. And then we put our location, which we copied and pasted from before, slash dev slash disk2 in my case, but you need to check that out using your diskutil list command to make sure that's correct. 
And then we're telling it where to mount. So volumes and then USB. And when we hit return, hopefully it should mount our disc. So it might take a minute or two just to sort through everything. And here we get an error. I'm not exactly sure why we get the error. Invalid argument. However, our drive is available. Now you should be able to open it and see the information inside. You could do a command I or get info on it to get information about the drive. So in this case we can see the capacity, how much space is used and how much space is available. And from here you should be able to view it and repair it in either the disk utility application or the command line. And we'll make another video that you can check out too to show how to verify and repair the disk using the command line in Mac OS X. Well, I hope this was helpful. And if it was, please give it a thumbs up and also comment below if you have any other suggestions as to other topics that we can cover. And share the video if you find it helpful too. Share it to your friends, share it out on social media like Facebook and so on. And please come back and check for new videos that we're posting regularly. Thanks again for watching.